Good morning children. Children, what happens when you see a mosquito sitting on your hand? You quickly shake your hand. What happens when you eat an orange or a lemon? You feel a tangy taste. You breathe automatically. You sit, you stand. Every single action which you perform, it is because of the coordination of your nervous system. Yes, let's learn the nervous system. We eat delicious food, sweet food, spicy food, street food. We read story books. We play with our friends. All these actions are being controlled by the nervous system. We are running, we are sitting, we are breathing, we are moving our hands and legs. Do you think the bones and muscles move of their own? No, our brain controls the movement of bones and muscles. But how? Because there is a connection from the brain to the different parts of the body and this connection is called the nervous system. The nervous system contains brain, spinal cord and nerves. The large network of nerves that are spread throughout the body. So these are the organs of the nervous system. The nerves help in carrying messages from all the parts of the body to the brain through spinal cord. You remember where is the spinal cord? Yes, it is in the backbone. There is a hole in each vertebra of the vertebral column or the backbone lies the spinal cord. The brain studies the messages which has been given by the nerves and then it decides what action has to be taken and then the decision is been sent to the particular organ system through spinal cord and nerves and then they work accordingly. For example, when you run, when you sit, when you walk, when you do any actions fastly, then the brain sent instructions to the circulatory system and also the respiratory system to work faster and accordingly. It is the nervous system which controls our movements, our sense organs, speech, breathing, heartbeat, digestion and memory. Without the nervous system, we cannot see, hear, smell, taste, feel, walk, think, run or do any kinds of work without this because the nervous system is the control system of our body. Let's learn about the organs of the nervous system. The brain. The brain of an adult human is 1.4 kg in weight. The brain is the most remarkable yet the more delicate organ in our body. It is protected by the skull. It looks like a walnut and it is the control center of our whole body. As you can also say, human brain is the messaging center of the nervous system. It controls everything that goes on inside our body. It takes all the information, it collects a lot of information and can store it and can recall that information whenever it is required. And this is called your memory. You can recall the information later on. What you are reading, what you are learning, what you are going to do right now, everything is been controlled by your brain. Again, your brain has three important parts or you can say three main regions. The cerebrum, the cerebellum and the brain stem or medulla. The cerebrum is the largest part and the upper part of your brain. This cerebrum is divided into four areas. Each area controls different parts of the body. The back area controls the vision, 
while the other areas controls your memory thoughts emotions movement touch intelligence learning and speech it also controls the sense organs the cerebrum in humans is big and that is why humans are intelligent the next region of the brain is the cerebellum the cerebellum is found at the back of our head and it is located below the cerebrum it controls the voluntary movement of our muscles and it helps to keep our body in balance the next region of the brain is the brain stem or the medulla below the cerebrum and in front of the cerebellum lies the stem shaped structure called medulla it is the lower portion of our brain and it is connected to the brain to the spinal cord through medulla the brain is connected to the spinal cord through medulla and controls all the involuntary actions the medulla is responsible for controlling the involuntary actions such as swallowing breathing circulation digestion respiration and other involuntary actions the spinal cord the spinal cord contains a thick bundle of nerves which is connected to the brain stem the spinal cord if you remember it is down the back and is protected by the vertebrae of your backbone or spine nerves come out or emerge out from your spinal cord and it forms a network all over the parts of the body because of the spinal cord the nerves forms a network throughout our body such so, my dear children up to this we will be learning in the next class we will continue with this topic further if you have missed anything read your book thoroughly and once again watch my video it will be helpful for you thank you children